Hello dear students, this is Mr. Hussain Gabris, your logic teacher. Welcome to semester 3 where we are going to work with mind benders. Let's get started. Mind bender puzzles. We use mind bender puzzles to help us to develop comprehension, deductive reasoning, visual tracking, and fine motor skills. We need to fill up the given table using the clues. We need to use N for no and Y for yes in the boxes. We can't repeat Y in the same row or column, same as Sudoku. Let's solve this puzzle together. Directions, fill in the chart using Y for yes or N for no as you solve the puzzle. So we can repeat N, but we can't repeat Y in the same row or column as I told you before. We see numbers and pictures. Two boys and two girls played on a soccer team. Find out how many goals each person scored for his or her team. The first clue is telling me the person with the fewest goals had to stop playing when she hurts her leg. So we are talking about a girl because we have she and her leg. So we are talking about one of these two girls and the fewest goal which is 11, the uh, smallest number in this chart. But this clue didn't help us much, so we move to the other one. Dusty has the most curls, so we are talking about Dusty with the most curls, which is this girl, and most goals, which is number 25. So we put Y over here and fill the other row and column with ends. Since we solved one of the girls, we still have the girl with straight hair, which is number 11. I mean, she, she scored 11 goals because from the first clue, we said she had fewest goals. So we put Y over here and N over there. The last clue is telling me that Tim has straighter hair, but more goals. So we are talking about, about this guy over here and the more goals, which is number 19. So we put Y over here and fill the other boxes with N. We still have one missing box, which is for the curly boy, which is 15 goal. We put Y and that's it. Thank you.